In recent years, the economic landscape of the Philippines has witnessed remarkable growth, positioning it among the fastest growing economies in the region. But despite the Philippines' recent economic success, there are tough challenges ahead, such as dealing with complicated political relationships with China and other important factors. In this video, we'll look into what's making the Philippines successful and examine the geographical challenges affecting its economy. We'll also tackle the tricky parts of its connection with China and other important aspects. The Philippine economy has demonstrated robust recovery from the impacts of the COVID-19 pandemic throughout 2023. In the third quarter, the GDP growth accelerated to 5.9% year-on-year, a notable improvement from the 4.3% year-on-year growth observed in the second quarter. This sustained economic expansion in 2023 comes on the heels of a vigorous recovery from the pandemic in 2022, propelling the Philippines' economic growth to its fastest pace since 1976. The 7.6% GDP growth in 2022 positioned the country among the world's fastest-growing large emerging markets, comparable to the growth rate seen in the Gulf Cooperation Council oil exporting nations of Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates, as well as other rapidly developing Asian economies like Malaysia, Vietnam, and India. Over the past decade, the Philippines has consistently demonstrated improved economic growth, except for the peak period of the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020 and 2021, marked by global disruptions to economic activity. From 2012 to 2019, the annual real GDP growth in the Philippines ranged between 6 and 7 percent. The economic rebound in 2022 propelled real economic growth to its highest level since 1976, with household final consumption expenditure growing by 8.3 percent year-on-year and gross capital formation increasing by 16.8 percent year-on-year. Recent economic indicators for the fourth quarter of 2023 affirm the expansionary conditions in the Philippine economy. The S&P Global Philippines Manufacturing PMI, a key metric, rose from 52.4 in October to 52.7 in November. This uptick signals ongoing expansionary operating conditions, marking the strongest reading since February. The increase in the PMI figure is attributed to growth in the top two components, namely output and new orders. Companies reported robust demand both in domestic and foreign markets, coupled with new client acquisitions and increased contract work, resulting in elevated overall sales and a subsequent boost in production. In November 2023, the Philippine manufacturing sector stood out as one of the world's fastest growing, according to the latest international S&P manufacturing PMI survey. The survey also revealed that the rate of input price inflation was at its lowest in over three years leading to a modest increase in manufacturers' selling prices. Throughout 2023, addressing inflation concerns has been a focal point for the BSB. Despite this, the headline CPI inflation rate eased to 4.1% year-on-year in late 2023, down from 8.6% in February 2023. The BSB had responded to the heightened inflation by implementing a total of 450 basis points increase in the policy rate since May 2022. The most recent rate hike of 25 BPS occurred on October 27, 2023. However, the BSP Monetary Board decided to keep the policy rate unchanged in the November and December meetings, expressing confidence that CPI inflation would return within the BSP's target range in 2024. In 2023, the Philippines saw a significant improvement in its balance of payments, with a cumulative surplus of USD 3 billion for the first 11 months compared to a deficit of USD 7.9 billion in the previous year. This positive change was influenced by a notable reduction in the current account deficit and continued growth in overseas worker remittances. After experiencing a surplus in 2020 due to a decline in imports, the current account turned into a deficit in subsequent years. In 2022, the deficit reached $17.8 billion or 4.4% of GDP. However, the latest estimate from BSB in December 2023 suggests a moderation to a deficit of $11.2 billion or 2.5% of GDP for the entire year. Looking ahead, the Philippines is anticipated to join the ranks of the Asia-Pacific region's trillion-dollar economies by 2033, alongside China, Japan, India, South Korea, Australia, Taiwan, and Indonesia. This growth is projected to elevate per capita GDP from $3,700 in 2023 to $6,200 by 2030 marking a substantial improvement since 2000 when per capita GDP was only $1,100. 
The anticipated surge in household incomes over the next decade is expected to fuel the expansion of the domestic consumer market, attracting both foreign and domestic investments across various sectors of the Philippines' economy. The Philippines stands to gain considerable advantages from its participation in the recently enacted RCEP trade agreement, especially thanks to its highly advantageous rules of origin treatment. These rules offer cumulative benefits that will facilitate the establishment of manufacturing supply chains across various RCEP countries. This is expected to attract foreign direct investment for diverse manufacturing and infrastructure projects, particularly in low-cost manufacturing centers like the Philippines. As a result, the economic outlook for the Philippines in the coming decade is highly promising, with substantial advancements in economic development anticipated. The 2021 Family Income and Expenditure Survey by the Philippine government revealed that approximately 20 million people, or around 18.1% of the total population, still live below the poverty threshold. The anticipated rapid growth in per capita GDP and improvements in living standards are poised to contribute to a comprehensive enhancement in human development indicators, leading to a significant reduction in the proportion of the population living in extreme poverty by the year 2030. But there are some issues along the way. One of the foremost challenges in the Philippines is the pervasive issue of income inequality. Despite economic growth, a significant portion of the population still grapples with poverty. According to the 2021 Family Income and Expenditure Survey, approximately 18.1% of the total population, or 20 million people, live below the poverty threshold. Addressing this issue is crucial for inclusive economic development. Infrastructure development remains another bottleneck in the Philippines. Insufficient and outdated infrastructure hampers logistics, transportation, and overall economic efficiency. The government's commitment to ambitious infrastructure projects such as Build, Build, Build aims to tackle this challenge, but progress has been slower than desired. Moreover, disparities in educational access and quality pose a significant challenge to human capital development. A skilled and educated workforce is essential for driving economic growth and innovation. Bridging these gaps is essential for long-term economic sustainability. Externally, the South China Sea dispute introduces geopolitical complexities. Tensions over territorial claims, especially in the West Philippine Sea, have economic implications, influencing trade routes and foreign investments. Navigating these geopolitical waters becomes crucial for the Philippines' economic agenda. The rise of China as a global economic player presents both opportunities and challenges. While China's Belt and Road Initiative offers infrastructure investments, careful diplomacy is required to ensure economic cooperation aligns with national interests and sovereignty. Within the region, the Philippines engages with ASEAN, seeking collaborative efforts for economic integration. However, challenges arise in harmonizing policies and standards among member states. Beyond China, interactions with other regional players such as Japan, South Korea, and the United States demand a delicate balance between cooperation and competition. Ensuring mutually beneficial engagements becomes essential for sustainable economic progress. Globally, the aftermath of the COVID-19 pandemic introduces uncertainties. The Philippines, reliant on sectors like tourism and remittances, faces disruptions. Adapting to the evolving global economic landscape, addressing health challenges, and restoring business confidence is crucial for recovery. Furthermore, protectionist trade measures and tensions pose challenges for an export-oriented economy like the Philippines, emphasizing the need to diversify export markets and promote domestic industries. Policy reforms are crucial for resilience and progress. Aligning economic policies with sustainable development goals contributes to long-term resilience against external shocks. Embracing innovation and adopting advanced technologies, along with encouraging research and development, fosters a culture of entrepreneurship and ensures competitiveness. In conclusion, as the Philippines tackles domestic issues, navigates geopolitical complexities, collaborates regionally, and adapts to global uncertainties, strategic policy reforms and resilience-building efforts will be pivotal. The China factor adds a layer of complexity requiring diplomatic finesse. By fostering a holistic approach to economic development, the Philippines can unlock its full potential and achieve sustained progress in the coming years. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel and be sure to watch our first video on the Philippines economy.